With a new last name, here's Kelsey Chickering. <laughs> See you later. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kelsey and I'm... <laughs> and I... Uh... I am Kelsey and I'm hosting the back channel for, uh, for the day today. So you, we have a team of people from, from Hill and Trillia who are literally sitting behind the screen monitoring your conversation on Twitter, picking out some of the best nuggets to feature up on the screen. Uh, and you guys have been talking a lot. There's been a ton of conversation and it hit its peak, not surprisingly, when Orlando came on the stage, you guys went crazy for him. <laughs> Many of you were talking about wanting to hang out with him, I think. Uh, so that was great. Um, but what was really interesting is we started the day off talking about being provocative. And, and I believe it was Mike who said, um, you're going to see a provocative take on the future of advertising. And we've definitely seen that so far. Starting off with Karen, who you know, said ditch the TV strategy. It was the number one thing to start doing when you're thinking about being provocative and being forward thinking in media. And that really led us to this whole conversation around on Twitter around is television still the center of of our universe. And what it came down to is video is the center of our universe. Um, Christy talked about that a lot in, in her panel, and you guys were all reacting to that. And I think you know, part of that is we're thinking about is television really, really still our, our medium, but it still rules, according to Brian. Uh, but the reason for that is that the medium is changing. So a lot of you were talking about how, while video is key, we're consuming it from so many different places. It's not just that big screen on your wall anymore, although it is still important, as we saw in the social experiment. But where you're consuming it is really different. So that means we're consuming it in a ton of different places, which means we need to make more video. <laughs> and we need to make more content, which Brian pointed out. And um, when Orlando hit the stage, he talked about, you know, we're making more video because increasingly, if we need more content, we need more sources for that content. So we've been working with influencers like Orlando from Huse, like people from Whistle Sports. Um, and, and we do that. Authenticity is so key because when we're talking to millennials, they need to be, um, we need to be talking the way they want to talk, which is really challenging <laughs> for, for us and for brands, um, in, and Brittany pointed this out, which I thought was, was really brilliant, is that you know, when we're thinking about getting our message out there, we need to be thinking about it differently. It's not just getting the brand message out, it's thinking about the dialogue you're trying to create by working with these influencers. So you guys had a ton of awesome commentary around, around that of all as, as well. And then we shifted gears and talked about measurement. And this was sort of, a, I think, a sad face for many of the analytics folks in the crowd. But accuracy of measurement is becoming impossible with all of these different, all of these different channels that, that we're using. But I think Noah summed it up really nicely. And that's that viewer attention span is really the currency. So when we're thinking about um, you know, what's really important, it's where they're spending their time and the quality of time they're spending with us. So you guys said a lot of really smart, awesome things today, as you've seen on the screen. But I think my favorite takeaway from the entire morning so far, and I'm hoping we can even top this for the second half, came from Brian. And he said that, really, Donald Trump is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> so if you take nothing else from this, at least take this. <laughs> 